Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History and a few other books. I'm taking you back to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I for today's event. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 19th of March, 1568, Elizabeth Seymour, Lady Cromwell, died. Elizabeth was around 50 years old at her death. Now, you might not have heard of Elizabeth uh, Seymour, Lady Cromwell, so let me just share just a few facts about this Tudor lady. Elizabeth Seymour was born in around 1518 and was the daughter of Sir John Seymour of Wolf Hall in Wiltshire and his wife, Marjorie Wentworth. Her siblings included Queen Jane Seymour, third wife of King Henry VIII, Edward Seymour, Lord Protector Somerset, and Thomas Seymour, first Baron Seymour of Sudley. Elizabeth was married three times. She was married to Sir Anthony Uftred by 1530 as his second wife and had two children by him. He was appointed captain and governor of Jersey in 1532, taking Elizabeth with him to the island. But he died in 1534. Following his death, Elizabeth returned to England. In 1537, the widowed Elizabeth wrote to Thomas Cromwell for help, writing, Please it you to be so good unto me as I through your means might be holpen to obtain of the king's grace to be farmer of one of these abbeys if they fortune to go down. Elizabeth was hoping to have her precarious financial situation eased with the granting of one of the dissolved abbeys from the dissolution of the monasteries. Instead, Thomas Cromwell arranged for her to marry his son and heir, 17-year-old Gregory Cromwell, who would later become Baron Cromwell. The couple married at Mortlake in August 1537, and it was a happy and successful marriage, resulting in three sons and two daughters. Sadly, Gregory died of sweating sickness in 1551. In 1554, Elizabeth married her third and final husband, Sir John Paulette, later Lord St. John and second Marquis of Winchester. Two of Elizabeth's sons, Henry Uftred and Henry Cromwell, married Paulette's daughters, Elizabeth and Mary. Elizabeth didn't have any children by Paulette. Elizabeth Seymour served three of Henry VIII's wives, Anne Boleyn, Anne of Cleves and Catherine Howard, but not her sister, Queen Jane. Elizabeth was laid to rest on the 5th of April, 1568, at St Mary's Church, Basing in Hampshire, the Paulette family church. Now a bit of trivia for you. There's a portrait by Hans Holbein the Younger found in the collections of the Toledo Museum of Art and also Hever Castle. And it was once thought to be Queen Catherine Howard, Henry VIII's fifth wife. But now it's believed by several historians to be Elizabeth Seymour. You can see this portrait in the thumbnail for this video. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 19th of March, 1563, Arthur Brooke, the man who wrote the very first version of the story of Romeo and Juliet in English, died in a shipwreck off the coast of Sussex. And you can find out more about him and his version of the story in last year's video. I'll give you a link. Now you can subscribe to this channel by clicking around about there. There's a big subscribe button, I believe. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. And you can, of course, give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.